Okay. Okay. Testing, testing. <laughs> Get this camera loaded. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, for the love of God. Yes, yeah, so. Sorry, I'm on a phony angle, I'll tell you. It doesn't matter too much, but fuck it, let's try and try at least to look like things are a bit normal. Oh, got no room. No room to swing a cat in here. Anyway. Right, so uh first of all, I just want to show you that Gary has made one of his videos as unavailable as possible. The video I'm talking about is this, right? This one here where he shows, I only know, I've, I've got this downloaded already. This one here where he says, this will prove things once and for all. See if we can find him saying that, hang on. Just really is kind of inconvenient um, because I want to do them well enough okay that nobody can complain about some gimmick and the problem is is there just isn't these two simple experiments so this is you know there's got to be somebody out there <clears throat> you always got a a work table and a this yeah and a... yeah and i made a joke about that last time didn't i somebody's got a table who hasn't got a table and that and some hardware and like who hasn't got some hardware to work with their hands and... who hasn't got hands and wants to do I mean these are really simple experiments so simple that Gary won't do them I mean without altering them without making it something completely different than what he's proposed yeah maybe I'll just draw them to start with and you know uh, just to solicit it because I really don't want to do the experiments or, because he's bone idle it just really is kind of inconvenient getting out of bed must be inconvenient for him um, because I want to do them well enough fuck off you do an experiment well. There's more chance of me seeing a, a flying pig going past my house and then a fucking pink elephant coming the opposite way and fucking thunder and lightning hitting you on the head while I'm watching one of your videos. Okay, that nobody can complain about some gimmick or bullshit. But, I mean, you have two really simple experiments. I mean, just... So simple that you're not going to bother doing them. Just take any kind of spring-loading device. I mean... Spring-loaded device? Right, so I used any kind of spring-loaded device. I used a big pen, and you said it was too complex. Too complex, you couldn't understand it. And you're just saying, are you going to take a spring and compress it a certain amount? Like a big pen. Then I used a solder sucker, modified just a little bit, to make it so that it was far away enough from the magnet that I was using as a ball that the magnet wouldn't stick to it, so it had to be extended a bit. And you said that was too fucking complicated for you to understand. I mean, all you really want to do is put any kind of object on it. So you any kind of object, do you hear that, folks? Any kind of object, any kind, any kind of object, as long as it meets with his approval after you've done it, so long as it comes out the way he wants it to come out. If it comes out the opposite way, then it's not going to be the right object, is it? Then the launch mechanism that you've used for the spring isn't going to be good enough. You should have used not a spring. You should have used an elastic band, shouldn't you? Which is why he's drawing an elastic band. Oh, no, he's not drawing an elastic band. As you know, no, that's right, folks. He isn't drawing what he now proposes we should do. He's not drawing spheres. He's not drawing elastic bands. He's drawing a fucking spring and saying overtly that any object can be used in this experiment. If you shot him off the edge of a table. And the edge of a table. What could be simpler than that? You know, in this direction. Well, what other direction would we be shooting him, you stupid prick? <clears throat> You're just going to take a, you know, a two mass and a... Which I did. He's drawn a coin there. One mass. And... He's drawn another coin there. Do the experiment with those two different objects. Exactly. And have you noticed one thing? Make careful note, folks, that he's not saying that we need to launch these two objects at two different velocities. He's now going to change his mind today when I'll play back bit today where he's been lying through his teeth saying that the objective experiment was to launch the half mass at twice the speed of the two mass. That's another method of pushing something. 
All right, and I don't really care as long as you do measure the velocities. So as long as we know that you got the right velocities, it's fine with me. No, that wasn't part of the experiment. That wasn't the experiment you proposed. You've never mentioned measuring the velocities. You've never measured the velocities. All you said was launch two different objects off the edge of a table, then having two to one ratio uh, masses, and you said the half mass one will go twice as far. End of story. That simple. No measuring devices other than how far the thing went. We never did the air track experiments, okay? So, you know, all of this bullshit, right? He made 14 air tracks and we saw a tiny little 30 second clip. I made three. Why would I make 14? It's ridiculous. Conveniently, he is now. It is now hard to find Gary's original vi video. So again, this this crap about somehow the videos are hard to find, which each one is numbered sequentially, okay? But it's pointless if we don't know which video, which number to type in to find. You tell us. Are you about to tell us which number to type in to find? I can find it, but most people can't. Most people would have to search through dozens and dozens and dozens of numbered videos to find the one that I'm talking about, they would have no clue. I'm not even sure that you would have a clue. I know. Hey, I mean, it's just such a lie. And again, why go back? All right. Be because, go back because you said that this would settle the matter once and for all. You said it'll settle the matter once and for all, and you've buried it. His indexing system does not allow anyone to find it. Well, again, it is findable. They're all titled. Okay, so... It isn't in your list, moron. I told you a few months ago, it isn't in your list. It's dropped off the end of your list, so it's no longer available. Your list only goes back to about January. The video in question is before that date. It's not. The, the title isn't there. So shouldn't Google have them indexed? Shouldn't you be able to just put into Google draftphysics.com and then put in uh, the title of the video? How was anybody supposed to know what the title of the video is? You were supposed to publish the title of the videos. We scan through them and say, ah, that looks interesting. And we'll look at that. Are we supposed to just make up, guess what titles, videos you put out there? You're supposed to have a fucking list of them. That's the whole point of YouTube, that we can go on the list of all the videos you've ever made or, or published, and we can, we can scan through and say, ah, that looks interesting. So we'll have a look at it. If we just type in a number, video number 117, well, that could be anything. We've got to download the sodding thing because it, or wait about two minutes for it to start actually fucking working. It's a tedious process, and you know darn well it is. That's why you're not using YouTube because you're in control of hiding things. That's what I think. If Google's a good search engine, right? If it's doing its job and it's a wonderful thing, and everybody should love Google. I couldn't give two shits about Google. All I care about is that you publish a video. Late last year, or the beginning of this year, I'm not sure which, off the, off the top of my head, where you said, here's a very simple experiment anybody can do, and which will settle the matter once and for all. I did the experiment, and you weren't happy. I redid the experiment. You still wasn't happy, and I'm prepared to do the experiment again now, and I'm suggesting to Dispar that he does the experiment, because it really is simple. You've not done the experiment. You've tried to do some altered version experiment where you manipulate the results. And now we cannot find that video without knowing the title. I've got to do a little bit of digging to find the title. I've got the video somewhere. I've already downloaded it, but most people haven't. Most people aren't going to be able to find it without help from either me or you. And you certainly aren't going to fucking help them because it isn't in your interest to help them. It's in your interest to bury that video because it embarrasses you because it proves you talk shit. Lucky I know which video it is and can find it for you if requested. Find it for who? <laughs> yeah. You think this bar needs to see that? Oh, hilarious. Yes, he does.
You need to see it if you've forgotten it or pretending you've forgotten it. Anybody who can't remember the specific video needs to see it because it's an important video. If you've been saying, if you've been maintaining this argument for 18 fucking months now about kinetic energy and you were saying that this one simple experiment will prove it once and for all, one way, once and for all, and we can't find that and people can't find that particular statement, that particular video, then it's important that you make that video available. Why not put it on YouTube? It's such an important experiment, according to you. According to you, it's the one experiment which will settle matters once and for all. And you've hidden it. But I guess Gary does not want anyone finding that video in his too early anymore, too easy anymore. I mean, this is just such a, a nonsense lie. I'm not doing anything to hide my videos. Well, I've told you two months ago that it's hidden. We can't find it. We, it, I, I, Like I say, I know how to find it, but most people don't. I've already got the video downloaded because I responded to it, and it's important to me to know which video I was responding to. But most people don't have that level of interest in that video. I was interested enough to do two experiments proving it, uh, proving that you were talking bullshit. And I'm willing to do a third and a fourth and a fifth if necessary. So I've got a vested interest in knowing which video. You, not, <laughs> I can't try and get me mixed up with words. I have a vested interest in finding that video again if I need to. There's a short clip of it in my own video of the 21st of January this year. But that's we want to see your actual original video in its entirety if necessary. Presumably it wasn't far, it wasn't too f much further back than the 21st of January. Maybe it was a week earlier, I don't know. So this is just such nonsense. I have 200 of them in the index in sequence. No, you don't. You have about 100 which are visible and 100 which aren't. Unless something's changed in the last week or two. But the last time I checked, and I've checked numerous times over the last few weeks, a couple of months or so, half your videos are fucking well hidden. About 100 of them, 90 odd of them. They go down to a certain number and then they cut off. We then have to just blindly type in numbers and hope that whatever turns up is what we were looking for. And that's a long, long procedure when you've got to go through, type in 100 numbers from 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91. I don't know which of these numbers off the top of my head is the relevant video, but it's in this sort of region. The 90s, I seem to remember, or 80 something. But... We've got to do this all the way back to video number one. Each time we type these numbers into Google, we have to wait about a minute or two minutes for the video to actually start playing. And the, the quickest solution is to just get wait till the video starts playing, then copy the URL into a downloader and download the fucking thing, then move on to the next video and download that, and then move on to the next video and download that. It's far simpler than sitting there going out your fucking skull trying to play back your videos when it takes about two minutes for each one to start playing. It's a fucking hopeless system. At least with YouTube, which the video would play pretty much straight away. At least with YouTube, we could scan through your list of videos and actually see what, what the titles were. Or we could see, uh, get a visual cue from what you were wearing to give us a clue as to uh, which video it is that we're looking for. Because if I've got a little clip of you and you were wearing this fucking red wife beater whatever they call it these days if then i know that if i'm trying to find the original video from this clip where you're wearing this wife beater i've just got to look for a similar video where you're wearing the same thing and that's a bit of a clue that will give us a rough idea which video we're looking for but otherwise on your fucking stupid system where we have to type in dp179 and hope for to god that it's a video that we're actually interested in it's a fucking stupid system it's it's okay if the titles are there it helps that there are some thumbnails as well gary but there aren't anyway just carry on it's gonna take all fucking day at this rate what more does somebody need? The thumbnails and the titles, you fucking tithead. Oh, it just, he's just such a fucking piece of shit.
All right. I would urge you to use Gary's electric band pin release method for launching to avoid... Elastic band. Put some fucking glasses on, you blind twat. <laughs> electric band. What the fuck is an electric band? It's an elastic band, you fucking git. Further false allegations. So, yeah, I, I suggest if you're going to launch something that you use a device that can do it consistently. That's the whole point of science is to, is to engineer it so it can be repeated over and over again. Get if it makes you happy, I'll do it. It's not a problem. Reliable results. Yeah, that's what I would suggest too. I would suggest you use some method that produces reliable results. Fucking dickhead. So the simple experiment. Why not just play back the video? If you if you know what we're talking about here, this is your fucking idea, you git. If you know what we're talking about, why not play back that little bit of the video where you tell us that this will settle the matter once and for all? Or have you forgotten, you hypocritical stupid bastard? Okay, is you're just going to shoot stuff off a cliff, so to speak. Okay, so you're going to shoot a half mass at twice the velocity. Okay, so... 2v, 1m, okay, you're going to shoot a 1... What the fuck are you on about? That wasn't the experiment at all. You launched them both with the same launching device. That was the specific... That was the specific... Can't get me words out. That was the specific nature of the experiment, that we launched them both using the same method. We don't have to measure the fucking velocity, you dick. You don't have any measuring equipment for measuring velocity, you dick. You said it's the simplest experiment imaginable, and it is. You're trying to complicate it now by reinventing it and pretending, it, pretending it's something else. Show us the actual thing. Mass, okay, uh, twice the velocity. Uh, no, I'm going to shoot a two mass. Okay, one velocity, two mass. All right. <clears throat> So one of them, their theory predicts, momentum says they're the same, their theory predicts one has twice the energy. And the simple idea is, as you launch them in this way against gravity, they're going to fall at the same rate because they're, um, you know, one's half the mass, but it's, uh, it's going to fall at the same rate. I mean, everything falls at the same rate. So, frankly, they should land in the same place. <laughs> Let me just, I have to think. So that one has twice the velocity, it should land twice as far away, and they'll land at the same time. That's the key fact. So they'll land at the same time, but one of them will land twice as far away as the other one because of the double velocity. So the double velocity Oops, will land hang on. here. Pause. Oh, oh, something's crashed. Bob, what's, what's crashed? What's fucking crashed? I'm going to have to stop this recording because something's crashed and I might be... It looks like it's still recording, but it probably isn't. Just in case it is, though, you've either <laughs> got mixed up with the details or you've forgotten the details, and that's how important your experiment proposals are, that you forget the crap you've said. You say something one week, and a week later, you've forgotten all about it. You're just shoveling shit. That's all you do. Two different objects. Exactly. And have you noticed one thing? Make careful note, folks, that he's not saying that we need to launch these two objects at two different velocities. He's now going to change his mind today. When I'll play back a bit today where he's been lying through his teeth saying that the objective experiment was to launch the half mass at twice the speed of the two mass. That's an utter lie. If not a nut a lie, it's him showing that he's suffering from sort of from Alzheimer's or something else. He's got some serious problem if he genuinely thinks that that was the experiment he proposed only at the beginning of this year or at the end of last year. You know, place one in. I'm not sure what date this is, but. See how far it goes. Put two in, see how far it goes. Exactly. Didn't, nothing said whatsoever, absolutely nothing said here about launching them at two different velocities. According to him, the different velocity arises out of the fact that one of them is half the mass of the other. And according to him, the half mass is supposed to go twice as far, twice as fast. And yet it doesn't. Everybody's proved that, that it goes about 1.4 times faster at best. The square root of two, which he thinks Piro fucking invented. And the idea will be, is they will fall at the same rate in the gravity. So. 
this is yeah what's wrong with this so that you know saves us some trouble there's nothing wrong with this experiment it's a good idea the only problem is numbskull here didn't want to accept the results when they didn't come out the way he wanted to in other words he isn't remotely interested in the actual results all he's interested in is concocted lying fibbing deceitful results all he's interested in is his religious results. He should be wearing a fucking dog collar. I wouldn't be surprised that when he turns the camera off, he puts his dog collar back on and goes out onto the street and does his life of Brian preaching, you know. And the idea would be is that the light one will fall, okay, twice as far. No, it won't, you fucking stupid moron. Okay, it'll go twice as far away. No, it won't, and it didn't, you stupid twat. Okay as the heavy one okay <clears throat> and proving that the momentum is conserved that this one will leave with twice the velocity no it won't which means you know that i can compress springs with heavy objects and shoot springs with light objects and i can double my energy no you can't you absolute stupid moronic asshole. so there is free energy no there isn't you asshole. So it will prove free energy. No, it won't, you asshole. Okay, so let's just understand that there... You don't understand anything. This experiment decides the question once and for all. It... Exactly. Once and for all, once and for all, once and for all. You heard it there, folks. It's worth going back to listen to him say that again. will prove free energy. Okay, so let's just understand that there... This experiment decides the question once and for all. It, it does. It's already proved it once and for all. It's only you, your religious nutcase, who dis refuses to accept the results. There is no proof as far as you're concerned. It, you only, you're only willing to accept one result. Your imaginary result. Your fictitious result. Your lying scoundrel result. You are a tosspot. You are a dipstick. You're an, an empty-headed waste of space. Why anybody takes you seriously, I do not know. I don't know how you can look in the mirror to shave without being embarrassed. There's some... Urgh. Basically says, if it doesn't land here and instead lands here, okay, that'll tell us that, oh, okay, well, it can't land here. It has to land in the same place, actually. You're an arsehole. So we have to conserve the energy. There's something really mentally tapped about you. This one, the lighter one, has to land in the same place as the heavy one. What, what the hell are you talking about? Which it's not going to do. No, it's going to go about 1.4 at best. Discounting wind resistance. and uh, If I made the launcher a little bit more efficient, because it was carrying a little bit of excess weight. In other words, it wasn't just launching the weight of the balls or the weight of the coins. It was also launching, it was also having to propel the weight of the uh, rod that uh, would normally be pushing the piston. I'd remove the piston ring. The piston carry a cylindrical thing uh, with a massive air gap around it. That, it still carried that, yes. I think it was made out of aluminium, but I removed that in the end and I replaced it with uh, acrylic. A thin acrylic rod, very strong, absolutely suitable for the job. And all it does it is it pushes these objects smoothly at the same it doesn't do what you claim it do, does today it doesn't do what you claim what you lie through your teeth about saying that it pushes uh, bounces them around or something and it it throws them or it hits them or you're talking such utter codswallop it's shameful it's embarrassing it's silly you know i, I have no idea why anybody takes you even the slightest bit seriously on anything whatsoever anything all your clay proposals all your claims about clay being giving velocity an unfair advantage turns out to be exactly the opposite i've done these tests i've done it with all the different clay consistencies i have tested them at different temperatures i've done the experiments as meticulously as anybody reasonably can 
I've done them more meticulously than anybody you can point your finger at. In fact, I seem to be the only fucking person who's done them anyway. I've done them accurately, diligently, carefully, honestly, multiple, multiple times. And every single time it's indicated that you, Gary Mosher, are a, is a fucking utter moronic cretin. An absolute imbecile. You should be locked up. Well, let's just think energy-wise. Yeah, no, well, here's where they're saying it would land. You know. And it does. 1.4. And in that, under ideal circumstances, more like 1.27, under my less than ideal circumstances so far, I can improve on that. So instead of 2x, it will only go 1.4x. Correct. All right. Um, Which is where Johnny Walker was, sorry, John Walker was saying, John Walker was saying, uh, I should measure the, the speed as, as, as near to the launch uh, point as possible because after that it's losing velocity and you know I, I say that logically you can understand this can't be the truth so you're denying nature you're worse than a climate denier you're worse than a holocaust denier you're worse than you're a denier of everything that doesn't match your deluded idea of you being a fucking genius with insight and virtually being in touch with Newton from beyond the grave. God knows what goes on in that tiny mind of yours. This bullshit can't possibly be the truth. But what... it's, the irony is, it, it, all the bullshit is coming out of your mouth right now. Whatever. That's a simple experiment. You just film that and just, you know. Done it. I'm going to do it again shortly in the next hour or two. Publish it tonight. I'm determined to do it. I'm fed up of delaying. There. There's different ways to do it. You can roll things, but I mean... What the fuck are you on about rolling things? Why would you want to do that? You'd propose a perfectly simple, adequate, expo adequate experiment that does what it says on the tin. If you did this experiment as you've described it, you would get the same results as me, pretty much the same, only variant you might get two point... You might get it going one point... 3, 1.31, 1.32, something like that. It's not likely to be actually 1.4 because of air resistance and other other things, I suppose. Uh, but you certainly aren't, get, aren't going to go beyond 1.4. You certainly aren't going to get to 1.9 or 1.95 or two times. Nothing in that region whatsoever. You're just going to achieve pretty much the same results as me and anybody else who attempts the experiment. I do hope Dispar has a go at doing it because it, it is such a simple experiment. It's so simple, I'm, I'm confident I can have it going again uh, in an hour or two. The only, dif the only difficulty is I want to do it... I, mean, I can't find an elastic band. Uh, you know, I need a thick elastic band, the type that a postman wraps his letters in, one of those type of things. Uh, I've got some somewhere, but you know, you try and find an elastic band in this house. Anyway... Don't get distracted. Let's have a listen now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. The reason I'm here is to show you this. Hang on a second. Let me, let me get rid of this. You've got the gist of this now. Rolling always involves turning something, spinning it, and, you know, then the rotational... Ah, shut trend. up, you cretin. Right, let's let's get rid of that. Now, this is... Oh, sorry, I'm on screen. I forgot I'm, I'm on camera now. Now, this... I might have been on camera just, I don't know. Um, this is his page right where he says that he's not hid that video now i accept i'm perfectly willing to accept that he's not deliberately hid it but i i raised it i raised the issue with him two months ago roughly i said that this particular video that we've just been watching is impossible for anyone to find unless they already know the number he says oh you only to type this number and see this here at the top the the html number thing there the dp dp257 well, that one, the one you need to look for to find that, is called DP... Sorry, it's DP92. But look here. Who would who stands a chance of finding DP92? And who... By the way, does it have a title? What's the title of it? What's the title of it? We don't know, do we? The title doesn't come up. He says, we can search them all by title. Well, that's a fat lot of fucking news because you can't see the title. But look on his list up here. Look, we've got 
the, uh, pretty much the latest one, some short bits. Well, actually, it's, it's missing a few from since that one. That was a few days ago. Um, so he's got, if we look at that one, that would be DP, I don't know, 251. Yeah, so so it's not even showing DP 252, 253, 254, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, what? Oh, fucking hell. Come on, what's happening now? All right, so... So, the, the last one he's got, we can see the title of, which is titled Some Short Bits, was on the... the, the what, what date is that? 13th of the 7th. 13th of July. And what are we now? What date is it now? Come on. We're on the 21st of July now. So, thirteenth <laughs> of July, and so we we don't know the titles of the videos beyond that. So we just have to randomly type in two five two and hope that title's interesting. Then type in two five three and hope that title's interesting. But let's go the opposite way when this thing is finished. Come on, this is how shit his website is. It takes fucking ages. Now let's scroll down. Let's go back. See on the left hand side, we're scrolling down, down, and down, and down, and down, and down. How far back does it go? It goes to the 9th of the 2nd, 9th of February this year. That's as far back as it goes. So that one there, draft, draft physics versus P0314, a void of facts. Well, there always will be a void of facts if we listen to Gary avoiding the facts. See what I did there. Anyway, so. We've no idea what the video before that was. Let's that, see, that was num what video was that? Let's click on it to find the number of it. So we click on that number. It might be a YouTube video. So that's the annoying thing. Sometimes you click on these things and it takes you to YouTube. Hopefully it doesn't. See, see, see the, the, you see the palaver we've got to go through? We have to click on one, then City is scratching our arse for half an hour while it loads up. We've got better things to do, you fucking stupid asshole. Why are you doing this? Why are you being awkward trying to be clever run your own website when it, it barely works, Gary? It fucking hardly works. I'm having to fill time now, talk, so we aren't just sat here in awkward silence. Oh, fuck me, that was quick for this. So, video number 128. So, just imagine, right, so if somebody wanted to find that video that I just showed you here a moment ago, video DP, DP92. Imagine you wanted to find that, and I still don't know the title of it. I can't, I can't tell you what title to search for, because it doesn't say, does it? So, oh, fuck, has he gone back up? Anyway, yeah, so... Huh. Scroll back up to the fucking top, hasn't it? But look, there it is. Yeah, yeah, DP. Yeah, 9 to the 2nd, 22. We know the title of that, but we don't know the title of the one before it, do we? The title of the one before that was... Um, well, we don't know, do we? We would have to download it. We'd have to type in DP, instead of 128, we'd have to, check, we'd have to type in DP127. Wait for it to play, which takes about two minutes. Then put it in a downloading thing. And download it. Then go back to this and put put in DP one two six. Click on that. Wait for two minutes for that to start playing. Then download it because you can't download it until it's actually started playing. If I if I start if I just copy that link now and put that in the downloader, it won't won't download anything. It'll come up f f a fault in some sort of way it has to actually have physically started playing before that uh, that's actually of any use i don't know why i don't understand how computers work to that extent <sighs> right so there you go so yes so uh, anybody who wanted to find that video uh, stands f a fat chance because they've got to go th play 28 videos to get down to to 100 then another eight video 28 plus eight that's 36 you'd have to play a total of 36 videos before 36 random videos you would that you would have no clue what they were about before you finally stumbled on the one 
where he says, the important one, the most important one, where he says that this... Let me get my picture of me. That, where he says that this solves everything once and for all. This, this sorts it out once and for all. This proves things once and for all. Well, if it does, why haven't you accepted the results yet? If it does, why haven't you uh, made every effort to do the experiment properly? If it's that simple, why haven't you done the experiment properly? Because it's not in your interest to do the experiment properly. You know darn well that if you do the experiment properly, it will just prove you to be a bigger imbecile than anyone has already suspected. It'll prove you to be a thick bastard. It'll prove you to be a dishonourable, dishonest bastard. You've been bragging for years that you have more integrity than anyone else on the planet, practically. And it's absolute codswallop. It's absolute, unadulterated bullshit. It'd be, you'd be hard-pressed to find someone with less integrity than you, Gary fucking pisshead. You're a prick. A massive fucking tool. You are. But it's quite amusing. <laughs> it's quite amusing talking to you. <laughs> because you're such a prick. <laughs> anyway, that'll do for now. <laughs> I could sit here and laugh at you forever. <laughs>